The bond market is the largest and most important of the global financial markets. With some $100 trillion invested in bonds globally, having a well-run and efficient bond market is critical, and credit ratings play an important role in ensuring efficient markets. To understand why credit ratings matter, it's important to first consider the critical role that the bond markets play in the global economy. The bond market basically allows the issuer of a bond, typically a company, government or financial institution, to borrow money from investors. Bond investors can be individuals or they can be asset managers such as mutual funds or pension plans. The bond market supports all sorts of real world economic activities, from creating jobs to investing in infrastructure to funding innovation. And credit ratings help facilitate those activities by indicating the level of credit risk involved for investors. A bond in some ways is similar to a bank loan. The issuer of the bond agrees to pay the investor back the principal on time and in full plus interest, just as they would when taking out a loan. From an investor's point of view, bonds are attractive investments in that they pay out a fixed amount and are typically less volatile than equity investments. Having said that, bonds come in many different shapes and sizes, and that means different risk profiles as well. We all know that when a bank provides a loan to a company or individual, they have sophisticated credit departments to determine the credit risk of the loan. The bank wants to know that the loan will be repaid. In the bond market, the investor is the lender, so the investor must have a way to determine the credit risk of one bond from the next. That's where credit ratings enter the picture. Credit ratings provide a forward-looking and relative assessment of credit risk. Namely, how likely is it that investors will be repaid in full and on time? Credit risk is one of the most important considerations when investing in a bond, though it's only one of many factors that should inform an investment decision. Understanding credit risk is not easy, and it's a challenge exacerbated by the enormity and complexity of the bond market. Fitch Ratings helps make sense of this complexity with ratings based on a simple letter scale. AAA is the highest rating, indicating the least credit risk, and D is the lowest rating. Fitch invented the scale a century ago and it remains the most widely used way for investors to assess credit risk. If you're an investor, higher rated bonds are generally considered less risky, as in you are more likely to get your principal back, but the interest payments will be more modest. A lower rated bond may carry a greater risk of default, but will pay investors higher interest to compensate them for taking on more risk. So if you're an issuer of bonds, a higher rating means it's cheaper to borrow money because your interest payments to investors will be lower. At Fitch, our credit ratings are supplemented by additional research, reports, commentary and analytics that provide context and insight into what's driving the rating. There are a few things about credit ratings that are worth emphasising because they're sometimes misunderstood. First, ratings are opinions about what we think will happen in the future. Unlike auditors who look backwards and deal in factual accounting of what has happened, rating agencies look forward. The second point is that credit ratings are meant to be a relative measure versus similar peers. And finally, it's worth remembering that ratings are one-dimensional tools to help understand fundamental credit risk. So now we know what ratings do and why they matter to issuers and investors. More broadly, credit ratings help achieve the economic objectives of the bond market by making the market more efficient through better information. The smaller the gulf between what a seller knows and what a buyer knows, the more efficient the market for that item will be. That's really what a credit rating does. It helps bridge the information gap between buyer and seller. At Fitch, veteran analysts determine ratings after robust debate as part of a rigorous committee process. After all of the analysis and debate is concluded, the rating we issue is an informed opinion about what we think will happen in the future. The world is an increasingly complex place, and for investors that means understanding a multitude of interconnected risks. Credit ratings help them do this, beginning with a clear understanding of fundamental credit risk. Because we're in the business of providing opinions, Fitch is committed to being independent and objective. We have a role to be as vocal as we can be about the risks we see, not in a sensational way, but in a well-researched, well-reasoned, analytical and transparent manner. And of course, others are free to agree or disagree with us. So why does all of this matter to the global economy? Having healthy capital markets is a key requirement for sustainable economic growth. And healthy capital markets require information and transparency. Credit rating agencies level the information playing field between buyers and sellers of bonds 
and ultimately that helps to build factories, create jobs, pay college tuitions and fund retirement. That's why credit ratings matter and that's why Wall Street matters.